At one point, I was in a stock called XXII, right? I bought this damn thing at 98 cents. I still have a little bit overnight, but just to give you an idea of, yeah, again, nobody hacked my account, right? This is, this is legitimately where the money flow is going, right? XXII, I bought it at 98 cents. Um, I sold some, you know, keeping some overnight, blah, 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 blah. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com nightly update show. Hope everybody is doing okay. So what the heck is wrong with technology, right? Now, before somebody turns around and say, God, Dan, there's nothing wrong with technology. Look at the cues. Look at the beautiful mo moves in the cues. And you're absolutely right. What I'm referring to is more of the names that, again, the good field names, right? The cult stocks, the stocks that everybody pays uh, close attention on earnings season, that everybody... Uh, puts into a really high agree, kind of a high regard. And those are the plays that we're trying to figure out why aren't they rallying? Matter of fact, so let's start out from yesterday. So Tesla gets added to the S&P 500. And obviously when I recorded last night's video, uh, this was before Tesla got added. And you'd expect, you know, you would expect Tesla because of such a big short interest in the stocks, such hatred on one side of the area. The fact that, again, it just couldn't rally for a couple of weeks, you'd figure everybody would have got caught and this thing would have absolutely exploded. So you saw this really, really big aggressive move uh, on the announcement, uh, never got close to the after hours highs yesterday and kind of drifted for the rest of the day. Then Amazon, right? Amazon this morning comes out and says, well, we're getting into the online pharmacy business. This is great, right? Amazon rallies, you know, 80, 85 points pre-market, and then basically sells off for the rest of the day. If you look at the market today as a whole, again, nothing really spits out at you. The NASDAQ, uh, NASDAQ uh, composite, you know, down what? 35 points, nothing, absolutely nothing. So nothing's gonna tell you how crappy beta land is right now. But if you start looking deeper and start looking at all the charts, you kind of see what I'm talking about. Apple, again, looks like it's about to go every single day and just doesn't, right? Just doesn't. NVIDIA, right? Looks so great. Every single day, intraday, looks so great. Semiconductor is still very, very good. It just gets right to the point that it's about to go and then nothing. You look at Facebook. And again, granted, uh, Facebook today uh, testified on Capitol Hill, Mark Zuckerberg, so forth and so on. But again, it's so close to breaking this area here and nothing. Uh, AMD broke out today for like 30 seconds, right? 30 seconds. And again, it's one of our pivots today uh, from like 84, only goes up 80 cents, completely uh, turns around. You could go on, on and on and on. Look at Microsoft, right? Look at Microsoft, just cannot rally. Uh, Alibaba, again, what was the last time this damn thing went green in a day? Again, very, very weak sentiments. Netflix, same thing. So you look at the market as a whole and you turn around and say, wow, this market looks really, really great. And then when you start to break down what is entailed in the market, you start seeing who exactly is control of the market. Like Boeing, for example, uh, we had a pivot today, a really, really strong pivot on Boeing. Again, this is what's taking the market higher. And again, when people talk about the market, Majority of the people, because of water cooler talk, right? Majority of people are talking about the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Dow Jones has 30 stocks, okay? 30 stocks, and that's it. But unfortunately, most people, when they start talking about the market, they talk about the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And what we're looking at here is kind of a buyer strike on beta. It's almost to the point that people are sitting there and saying, well, you go into the pool first, let us know if there's water, right? And if there is water, okay, we'll go in after you. And for example, today I traded Roku and, and Roku was a good trade. There was nothing wrong with Roku. Again, we talked about Roku uh, last night in the video. It took out this three, uh, 237 level. It traded really nicely all the way up into the 242s. So there was nothing wrong. But again, why did the stock have to give up $5 off, off the highs? Again, there's no rhyme or reason why a lot of these names are getting juice they're getting through these channels, like an AMD today, uh, like a Roku today, and you look two hours later, the love is gone. Like literally the love is gone, and then next thing you know, they're kind of drifting like everything else. So it's something very, very odd. Now again, before you turn around and say, are these stocks short? They're not shorts. Again, you can't short stocks because they're weak. 
You can't short stocks because you think they're going lower. And because, again, the prime index, the NASDAQ 100, again, is just grinding higher. And the higher we continuously build over the five-day moving average, it's going to frustrate a lot more traders because they, they, people don't understand why these stocks are not participating. And I'm one of them. Believe me, I'm one of them. I'm searching every single day which is the beta name that's going to bust out which is going to be the one to go and i'm identifying them pretty well like today roku was good but roku could have been great right especially with this type of environment uh that people are literally chasing everything in sight uh ev names again going nuts again nio came out with earnings tonight uh they look like you know look like pretty decent numbers but again the point is that the stock had such a big run it's the fact that it's only down a dollar after this ma massive run is kind of bullish right wouldn't you agree so you know the ev stocks continue to be very very well bitcoin names went absolutely nuts today bitcoin is straight up look at riot right look at riot it's at one point today we started seeing the five dollar calls the six dollar calls the eight dollar calls just going absolutely nuts a stock like mara right same thing you start seeing the four dollar calls the five dollar calls big breakout here uh, on mara as well so you know, the speculation money is working, but the speculation money is working on other plays. Like names, again, majority of the time, I wouldn't even be trading. Put it this way. Just to give you an example, what I was in today, right? At one point, I was in a stock called XXII, right? I bought this damn thing at 98 cents. I still have a little bit overnight, but just to give you an idea of, yeah, again, nobody hacked my account, right? This is, this is legitimately where the money flow is going, right? XXII, I bought it at 98 cents. Um, I sold some, you know, I'm keeping some overnight, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if you look at names like Amara, like Riot, these are names I would never look at 99% of the time, but they're so good. And that's where the people, the money flow are chasing. So again, it's one of those scenarios you could just sit there and moan and complain about, yeah, my stock's not being spotlighted. Yeah, damn right they're not. Again, you got to figure out an alternative way. Now, again, is this going to be something I'm going to be doing for the rest of my career? Absolutely not. But, but again, while my names are pretty much out of favor, okay, and they're sitting in channels trying to figure out which way they want to break down first okay our job is to kind of look elsewhere again you're not going to sit there and start putting massive size on the names you don't trade especially names that are represented by retail but again you are going to participate and that's the most important part um i think for the for the bears to really stick out in the, in the queues and again this is what i mean by you don't this is not a market to sell if you're looking for a uh, beta weakness, this is not until we start losing the five and 10 day moving average, there's no reason to click that sell button. But again, it's really, really puzzling why these things are not participating uh, with the rest of the queues, especially uh, on the semiconductors. And again, this is kind of where, you know, what I want to show you guys. So these were the pivots today, right? Uh, so these were the pivots today. Uh, AMD, again, I said to myself, you know, maybe this is the day, right? Maybe everything wakes up today. You know, I'm not going to assume, but maybe everything wakes up. And if everything does, you know, we could have a really, really good session. So here's AMD, 84 needs to build. Again, here was my point, right? Here's AMD, right? Here was AMD. It broke out above 84, went to like 84.80. Again, why did it fail? You don't know say, right? I have no idea. Again, that's a great, great question. But why did it fail? Again, million dollar question. Uh, Roku. Roku was great, right? There was nothing Roku. I, I think a lot of us traded Roku, had a really good trade. I'm not complaining, right? 237 needs to build, right? So here's the macro break on Roku, right? 237, we talked about in a lot of the video last night. Macro break on Roku went to 242. Again, God bless, nothing wrong. I am not complaining. Believe me, I just want to know why, again, came $5 off as highs. Again, million dollar question. Um, why, why went pre market? You couldn't catch YY, at least at least I didn't. Uh, 104, 50, 105 uh, needs to build. Here was YY. I, I missed this whole, you know, I missed this whole move. Here's a 105, 50. It actually went to 109. I, mi I missed this whole move here. Uh, SBE is a complete monster, an absolute monster. Uh, 1875, 19 needs to build. This thing just absolutely went crazy. We highlighted this yesterday, the 1750, 18. Uh, 18 confirmation it took out right it took out this whole area and the stock went all the way up to $21 congratulations for a lot of you guys 
uh, who had it overnight, who sold it really, really great stuff. Uh, TDOC went nowhere, got nowhere close to the 175 area. RKT went traded exactly to 23, never got, you know, never confirmed. Uh, Chewy, I still like, never confirmed. Uh, Qualcomm, I still like, never confirmed. Uh, ZM traded right to the 411 area, and then that's it, right? Did absolutely nothing, came right back in. Uh, Facebook, again, never got back down. Uh, actually put, started putting in some shorts. Uh, 23, uh, 273, if it builds below, and never got to the 273 level again. Uh, NVIDIA, 532, and never got to the 532 level again. So you, so you, you kind of get an understanding. It's how completely detached the, these stocks really are. Some of them are strong. Some of them are very weak. Some of them are very weak, and some of them get, get strong out of left field. So... Again, something is up. I, you know, we can't try to figure out or kind of kind of break our heads. But the moral of the story is something eventually will play itself out. Um, so huge move there. Uh, Boeing, congratulations for you guys who caught Boeing. Uh, 201 needs to build. Uh, they're coming for the June uh, 230 calls in size. Uh, here was Boeing. He, you know, took out the whole 201. Look, look at the move here. Went to 211. Uh, absolutely huge move on Boeing. Uh, ZM never got down there, and uh, Tesla never got down there. Uh, one quick announcement, and, and again, I'm going to say this uh, pretty, you know, pretty much because this is reality. Pivots are not for everybody. I, I don't think they are. I think if you're a brand new trader and you're still building up your account, um, you know, again, this is this is pretty advanced stuff, okay? Um, but again, it's very, very powerful uh, when it's you know handled the proper way. However, for all you guys who are uh, interested, okay, and have been kind of on the fence uh, trying these pivots out. Um, our guys are running uh, are running a pretty cool offer for 30 days in the webinar. It's a really really discounted offer. I sh I'm sure the the um, uh, the link will be somewhere in this uh, video. Uh, come check it out if you've if you've ever been on the fence and you're and you're trying to uh, figure out if pivots are for you. Again, this is a, a great way to spend 30 days in the webinar, uh, see everything play out. Please watch uh, the workshops before uh, before because again, I can feed you pivots till you're blue in the face. But if you don't understand why these things are moving, you don't understand the moving parts. Again, like I said, I've been saying for for years, you just cheating yourself. So please, before you come into the webinar, please watch the workshops. It will only help you. So uh, going into tomorrow again, you know, you know, will beta finally pick a direction and start rallying one way or another to be determined. Other than that, again, we, we have a, you know, we have a game plan. Uh, we wait for everything to confirm. And once everything confirms, usually good things are going to happen. But again, you can't force the issue. It has to come across uh, very organically. So guys, have a great night, everybody. Wish everybody uh, nothing but the best. And with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.